What it do, Jab Turkeys, and welcome back to the controversy. I'm your host, Dean Lee Carter, and today we are going to have a very uncomfortable conversation. Yes, I've been avoiding this conversation for the longest just because I am not over the tragic death of Chadwick Boseman. It's very untimely, and it's just. Yeah, only the good die young is a very, very true statement, and he is still missed Wakanda forever. Um, but without further ado, we got to have this conversation. So recently, Executive Vice President of Marvel Productions, Victoria Alonso, was asked the cringe question of how they are going to handle Black Panther and the MCU going forward. Are they going to use that CGI Frankenstein's monster like they did with Paul Walker in the Fast and Furious franchise? Uh, and she responded simply no, which is great because I would definitely be protesting Marvel if they went that route. It would be very disrespectful not to him but his family. I'm just not a fan of that. She responded to say great things about her experiences with him um, but ended it by saying, I know sometimes that in productions two or three months can go by and we say that too much time has passed. She continued, but that is not too much time. We have to really think about what we're going to do next and how and decide how we are going to honor the franchise. And I respect that comment because it's pretty much saying that she's gotta be really creative of how she's going to handle what's going to happen in the future. It's not an easy thing, so whatever she decides to do in respect to him and his family, I mean, I, I respect it. Regardless if it's going to turn out good or a disaster, it is not an easy task. So you gotta, you gotta pay respects and, and just sit back and let them do their thing when it comes to this subject um, but I do have some suggestions of how they can handle it again this is not an easy subject death in general and just seeing people that you love not here with us anymore is just yeah it, it can it can bring some tolls on your heart but uh, here's some suggestions I had for handling Black Panther in the future of the next phases of the MCU first suggestion is just don't address it just Keep doing these movies without Black Panther. We know that in this universe, Wakanda is a thing, Black Panther is a thing, and that he helped save the world when it came to the Endgame and Infinity War situations. Uh, but after that, I feel like he is the king of Wakanda and he has a mission to keep his people safe and understandable if he doesn't really want to leave after what happened. He wants to make sure that everything's going good in house. And if he doesn't want to leave Wakanda anymore, it's understandable. We can always have wink wink nudge nudge situations where people mention T'Challa like, hey, how's he doing? Have you guys talked to him lately? Or how's Wakanda? Have you visited lately? Uh, so his presence could be known in that universe still, but he doesn't have to be there. He could just be the protector of Wakanda. So that's my first suggestion. My second suggestion is if you want to keep him like in the battle zones of action and, and doing things in this universe, why not just have somebody use a costume and use a voiceover of Chadwick Boseman? Respectfully, with the permission of his family, of course, I think that would be okay. We don't need a solo movie of him or a huge plot line with him involved. If there's a situation where there's an invasion or a life-threatening situation in the world, you could just bring the costume in with his voiceover and he's there. He's there fighting. We don't have to see a CGI version of him. We don't even have to see his face. We just know he's there but as Black Panther helping out to be the hero that he is. Here's an idea that's been going around the internet. People think that he should pass the mantle on to Shiri or somebody else, which that does happen in the comics. I'm not a big fan of passing the mantle on, but it's a popular opinion, so it is what it is. If that's what they, if that's what they wanna do, I can't be mad at it. And last but not least, uh, there's been talks of a lot of multiverse in this next phase. Of course, the Doctor Strange movie is named Multiverse of Madness. There's been talks of the new Spider-Man movie having some multiverse situations as well. Um, but yeah, if you establish that this is a new Black Panther from a different universe, then I think that would be okay as much as I'm against it. I don't want to see that. I think as a story, I think from a story perspective, it would make more sense to do it that way, I guess because we do have multi versions of Spider-Man and if they are going to do the Spider-Man multiverse, have these guys together, then you have established that different people can look like the same character. So that's a way you can recast it with getting away with it. Again, not a fan of, I only want to see one person as Black Panther and that is Chadwick Boseman forever. Uh, but 
again, that I wouldn't be too angry at it because it would make sense if that's the route they want to go. Uh, but what do you guys think of my suggestions? Do you have any suggestions? Let me know in the comments. Let me end this video one more time by saying rest in peace Chadwick Boseman. You are still missed and still surreal to me. I can't even believe it. Seriously, but I know you are in a better place. Help King's brother out the street. Subscribe to my dad's YouTube channel. Love, peace, and chicken.